Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to take a look in on my urban worm bag. I haven't seen it since I've been on vacation. So let's have a look. See what they are doing. So it looks like for the most part the moisture stayed pretty good while I was gone. I will link up top there to the um, last video and then also probably at the end I'll link to the the whole series with Urban Worm, worm Bag, easy for me to say. So taking a look in here, looks like lots and lots of babies. So we can move the light a little bit. Can't believe how many babies there are. That is a lot of babies. Good job, guys. Oh, looks like we're getting another avocado. And two. Um, sorry, three. The heck. <clears throat> they made babies and avocado trees while I was gone. But that's that's a good concentration of worms. I'm not usually used to seeing that. So they have been super happy with what I left them with before I went on vacation. And for people who are, are new to the channel or new to this particular bag, <clears throat> these are African night crawlers, but the longer I have them, the smaller they seem to get. Looks like I hit a dry spot there. Looks like they're doing a good job with the leaves. See what's going over on the other side. Again, really good concentration. African night crawlers are not super happy about being disturbed. I think of all the worms. I mean, the blue ones move fast, but I, I see that messing with the African night crawlers does actually kind of stress them out. So. They are probably super happy to see me go on vacation for a couple of weeks. But just gave them a big feeding, which looks like they still are working on their leaves and whatever I fed them last time. So looks pretty good. So I'm going to give them, looks like they've got quite a bit of leaves, etc. going on here. So I'm going to give them some food food. And so I'm going to kind of make a pit here in the middle. Make sure that it's all fluffed up and not compacted before I go and put this in. Sorry about the earthquake there. Uh, make sure it's not compacted before I put this in. Because I'm going to give them <coughs> a good size feeding again. But what I'm feeding them is kind of a, it's not a forbidden food so much as a, you know, it, it doesn't behave like most other kinds of food that I give them. So this is rice that we didn't finish before we left. So one of the things about rice is that it molds really weird, kind of turns into a brick. Um, so I am trying to incorporate it a little bit with the leaf matter. It dries out very similar to bread does, so I want to make sure that it gets in there with things so that the worms can take care of it and it just doesn't turn into a piece of cement in there. I'm also going to give them some fruit.
also, you know, coffee filters and tamale stuff. But mostly oranges, bananas, here and there. But that can stay on top. And I'm going to go get my, my mister and put that to good work right now because this is a little bit too dry for me. So when some of the things that I put in I know are already dry when I'm putting them in the bag, I will come in here and do a misting. I also know that that rice is going to be a little prog problematic because it's going to suck the moisture out of whatever it touches. So I want to make sure that I'm getting in here and making everything not too moist, but maybe maybe a little bit more than I would do on purpose. Another tamale. You can see that weird blue mold you get on things. Coffee filters. Oh, look. My husband's favorite compostable bags. So this will probably take about one liter of, um, in my case, it's tap water that's been allowed to sit for um, probably a couple, you know, three or four days. Make sure all the chlorine's out of it. Again, sometimes I just show this maintenance type work so that you know that, you know, it's it's not just all I'm throwing food in there and shutting the shutting the bag. There is a little bit of evaluation every time I open the bag and also adjusting as it as it needs it. So, you know, I looked at it. It was a little bit dry. I know I'm adding food that tends to suck moisture out of things. So, I'm mitigating it in advance so that my bin doesn't get too dry. All right, well, that is, that's it. Um, hey, if you, you know, everybody was doing the shot glasses with the cute, or with Q-tips, not Q-tips. Everybody was doing the shot glasses with the toothpicks, trying to figure out ways to grow avocados. Little did they know all they needed was a worm bin. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to show you my trees. I know a lot of people are like, oh, what the heck are you going to do with avocado trees in the Midwest? Um, nothing, really. Growing them. But here they are. This one is a couple years old. This one is about a year old. And no, I don't know if I'm ever going to get fruit out of them or anything. I don't know. Uh, just kind of a cool house plan, I guess and uh, I grew it from something that I ate. I thought it was kind of cool. So a little extra thing at the bottom here of the video of the African night crawlers in the urban worm bag. But give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video and uh, click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and click the uh, notification bell if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and my avocados. Everybody have a good day.